Donald Trump was campaigning in Las Vegas today, and at the end of the day, he decided to hold a press conference. It's not a long one, but I have it on video for you, so here it is. generally speaking, conservatives, Republicans, that want to come onto our team. Uh, the polls have just come out, as you saw in Iowa, where I'm up by 11 points. Another one came up where I'm up by 10 points. And you look at New Hampshire, you look at South Carolina, you look at uh, Florida, we're at 48, 48 points. I'm way up, uh, way up in every poll. So we are getting calls from everybody that it's, it's actually amazing. I'm actually surprised.
And I feel very strongly about the Second Amendment. And I think even more so with what's happening. When you look at Paris, when you look at California, when you look at these horrible things that are happening all over the place, I mean, people need protection. We have to get protection. Second Amendment is very important. My two sons, by the way, are members of the NRA. They're expert hunters and everything else, and they feel very, very strongly. What about the Why have you never voted in a presidential primary? Why have you never voted in a presidential primary? Uh, I, don't know, I don't know that that's a fact. I mean, we published it, your voter records say you never voted in a presidential primary. I vote a lot. I can tell you I vote a lot, but I don't know that that's a fact. Is it fair to you have never done? In Iowa, there are some ads on Christian radio that have been pushing the I don't, I don't want to speak as to his authenticity because it's not, you know, appropriate in my opinion. However, I will say that he does have problems. He's got to solve his problem as to whether or not he's actually even allowed to run for president. He was born in Canada. He was a citizen of Canada until 15, 15 months ago. I mean, he was a citizen of Canada. And then he said he didn't know that. He didn't know that he was a citizen of Canada. He was a senator from Texas, a citizen of Canada, and he said he didn't know about it. And he said he didn't know about Goldman Sachs and he didn't know about Citibank when it came to his financial disclosure. It seems a little bit hard to believe. <laughs> 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 but, you know, as to his authenticity, I hope he's authentic. Well, I mean, he should give. I would assume that he give nothing to charity. There, there were reports about uh, tithing when he was yeah, so I'd have to look. I, honestly, I'd have to look. <laughs> 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 Many law operators in Detroit state why should conservation of hunters and anglers and even bird walkers and hikers vote for you? Because I'm going to keep it going. We're going to make sure, you know, if you look at the federal lands right now, they're a mess. They're an absolute mess. I'm hearing it more and more. In fact, I'm going to ask Don to speak to it because he, being a hunter and being a, I'm a member of the NRA, but he is for a long time, and so is Eric. But they tell me about the lands, and the lands are an absolute mess. Don't you want to have it? Well, we grew up as hunters. We started very young. We had great privilege to be able to do that. And we want to continue as traditions for our kids and their kids past them. I think when I look at the outdoors, both hunting, fishing, and frankly anything else, uh, it's just kept us out of a lot of other trouble. And see what kids can get into these days to have a wholesome option like that is important. So keeping public lands open, making sure they're maintained, making sure they're not sold off to the highest bidder and turned private. It's a very important issue for us, and we're outdoors, and we do this all the time. We're not weekend warriors, but we do it once every month, and we talk about it at cocktail parties for the next 20 years. We do this stuff every weekend. We're out there all the time. We're out whenever we possibly can. We vacation. We live the lifestyle. We love the tradition. We want to make sure we preserve it. So how do we continue to engage in technology and stay cutting edge and keep our kids engaged in the outdoors? Well, again, it's about getting youth into it. It's about making sure you get that next generation. I mean, a lot of the industries, especially archery, has done a phenomenal job getting women into the game, making sure that your mama bears into it, that way baby bears into it. And again, just keeping the great American tradition that is the outdoors alive and well. It means so much to us. And whenever I can get someone out of the woods, uh, for whatever reason it may be, and show them something else, I've never had those people turn around and say, hey, that was one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. And to make sure that those traditions are there for our kids and their kids behind them is about as important as it gets for me. Why continue getting that budget if, as you said, he's so low in the polls? At what point oh, he's terrible. He's terrible. But, you know, only I hit him for one reason. He deserves to be here. He takes commercials about me. He's spending millions of dollars. He's always doing commercials about me. What he should do is focus. First of all, use his last name instead of saying Jeb. Use his, he's ashamed of his last name. If he weren't taking commercials, but he's spending millions and millions of dollars on commercials about me. He should focus on the other seven people that are ahead of him before he gets to me. But there That's are the only people reason. taking commercials against you, and you're not spending nearly as much Not too many. I mean, I don't even see anybody else. I just see Jeb, and Jeb is, look, Jeb's a loser. The well, the 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 well, I think she, frankly, I mean, you look at the problem, it's a tremendous problem of uh, young people coming back from the Middle East, and you have a president who's on top, and, you know, I guess everything sort of starts from the top. But I was really honored to get her endorsement yesterday. I thought it was really terrific. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Well, we have a great team, so we're going to have to see what happens. I mean, we'll know by February 1st or February 2nd, and I think it's very exciting, and I appreciate the call. We were up by 11 points, so we'll see what happens, but I think we have a great team. See what happens. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you all.